Welcome to my second video to Honest HR and uh, today I'll be reviewing the iMac 2019, the highest spec one, 27 inch and I've upgraded the processor to a i9 9th gen uh, Intel processor. Uh, and before I be begin I would like to say that if you like my channel and I would love your support, uh, please like, subscribe and uh, comment let me know what I can improve on and uh, uh, just also letting you know that this is an unbiased video where um, I have not been supported or funded by anyone but myself so whatever you hear from me is straight right now first of all uh, I would like to go into the pros of the iMac uh, it's good it got a gorgeous 5k display it's bright sharp precise uh, for the package, I think that's a deal breaker for me. Like, it, it, um, if you're building a PC, a lot of people talk about building a PC and how much you can save. But then, if you want a 5K display for it, 27 inch, that's another thousand bucks. So this kind of does um, soften the blow a little bit because they're quite expensive. The other thing that really impressed me is under heavy workloads, it's quite quiet it, it doesn't make that much noise another plus on this is compared to the older versions is you can upgrade the uh, GPU to a Vega 48 which is really good an 8 gig one um, also you can uh, upgrade a few things that are quite cheap which I've done on my uh, iMac so I've uh, put in a i9 9th gen CPU which was only 640 and uh, now on the now I've Gotten to do that, but I wish I had done. It's got a two terabyte uh, fusion drive. I could have gone three terabyte for 160, which is again, yes, really dear for one terabyte, but for Mac, it's not too bad. So that would have all come up to 4,349 if I'd done that. Mine's just a little bit less because I don't have the three terabyte now. Uh, first things first, if you're going to get an iMac and it's going to have to be a 27 inch, I would go the higher end one or a lower end with a 2 terabyte because as soon as you go 2 terabyte, it's got a uh, 120 gig SSD instead of a 32 gig, uh, which makes heaps of a difference, I think. 32 gig these days, I don't think it's enough. All right now, moving on to cons, unfortunately, there's a quite a few of them for me um, first of all the price point it's quite expensive uh, to buy this computer nearly costs five grands if you want anything decent in it like the memory and stuff like that the design is another giveaway for me it's been the same design since 2012 and like to be honest the bezels on the side and the chin kind of this day and age it looks a bit obsolete with all the tallies and monitors being really ultra thin um, also the ram other than the ram nothing else can be touched after you've bought it even from apple like you can't take it to apple and be like hey can i have a bigger hard drive you know so that's a downside of it you can upgrade the rams um, uh, from apple or third party which is a kind of good thing um, uh, also another downside is if you get the 27 inch in the base version or a mid version they only have a 8th, 8th, 8th gen i5 processor whereas the higher end one comes with a um, 9th gen i5 processor now uh, it starts off with just 8 gigs across the board which this day and age is really not enough I think especially given that the MacBook Pros now start off with 16 gigs um, and the RAMs are quite expensive that's another downside the uh, megahertz of the RAMs that's another downside it's it is a DDR4 which is good however it's only at 2666 megahertz which is quite low for how much they charge to upgrade them so those are the downsides for me other than that I really love the iMac if you're an editor and things like that I love the 27 inch I love how your colors look on it and how sharp it is and 
how much work you can get done. It's not really for gaming. Um, I I would never play an I, uh, game uh, any games on an iMac. To be honest, I'm not much of a PC gamer as well. I'm I'm a bit of a console person. Um, but if I did have a choice between uh, an iMac and a PC, I'd go a PC to play games any day. Other than that, I love the iMac uh, and uh, the operating system, how it in integrates uh, seamlessly with your uh, iPhone and uh, watches and things like that. So it's it's not a bad product. If you're looking for a computer and you're not um, too bothered with uh, being in one place, so if you're not looking at a laptop, I'd go an iMac any day. Yep. All right, guys, that's it from me for today. Uh, let me know what you think about my video in the comments. And if you want to support my work and you like to see more videos, please do subscribe and give me thumbs up. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.